Hi, I'm Gary. I'm an engineer on the search team at Google. Did you know that Larry and Sergey originally called their search engine Backrub? If we hadn't changed the name to Google, you'd now be watching the How Backrub Works video? Uh, anyway, welcome back to How Search Works, where we explore the basic technical functions powering Google Search. In our previous video, we learned how Google crawls web pages and indexes their contents. Now it's time to actually serve and rank the results based on that content and what users are looking for. When you enter a query into Google, our machines search our index for the matching pages and return results we believe are the highest quality, trustworthy, and most relevant to your query. Retrieval of the results begins with interpreting the query. First, the query is cleaned up, then checked for certain entities. For example, the query a nice photograph of the moon doesn't actually require the stop words A, off, and the, and so we'll scrub those out. However, the Statue of Liberty does require off, so we'll leave it in. Additionally, the Statue of Liberty is recognized as its own entity. The query will also be expanded to include similar words. For example, searching car dealership will expand to include auto dealership because car and auto are close synonyms. Once we understand the query, we can send it to the index. Based on the parsed query, uh, the index will return a large number of results that will need to be ranked. Ranking largely depends on the relevancy of the results to the user. Hundreds of factors determine relevance, with the actual contents of the page being the most important one. But also things like the user's location, language, and device type. For example, searching for bicycle repair shops shows different results to a user in Paris than it would to a user in Hong Kong. We also need to take the quality of the page and the site into consideration during ranking. Quality is determined by a number of factors like the uniqueness of the content, the relative importance of the page on the internet, and a lot more. For more detail on how we determine and think about quality in general, we've published several help pages you should check out linked in the description. Based on the user's query, the search features that appear on the search result pages may also change. Going back to our query, bicycle repair shops, you'll likely see local results and no image results. However, searching for modern bicycle is more likely to show image results instead of local results. I do wonder what would happen if we searched for uh, JavaScript bicycles. Well, try it out. In the final episode of How Search Works, I'll explain the different parts of text results and we'll also look at how to control them. Should be pretty interesting. Join me next time and don't forget to like and subscribe for more search content.